Hi, this is Kun Das from the NESC. And the institution has been closed just about six weeks. And I saw this as a perfect opportunity to check in with all students, faculty, and staff. To our students, I know this is an unusual time. So even our institution has had to adapt to this new way of operating. And nobody really knows when this will completely end. And if you listen to all the experts, we could be in this situation for a while. I do think that perhaps when we reopen in September, it still will not be school as normal because there will be and there has to be some measures of physical distancing as we go along. I know it's a little bit difficult for you guys out there, students, because we have now switched to online learning. And whilst I am happy and proud and I want to congratulate you all for being part of it and at this stage we've had we've had just about 85 percent participation which is extremely high i know student services in the it department are working to see how we can resolve the other 15 15 percent but at least for now we have a high and good participation rate i know it's a little bit different i know it's a little bit challenging and of course the whole process of learning where in class participation interaction is is what's 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 to be expected but of course there are no classes formal classes in campuses so we have to look at this online program so we are doing everything on our end to ensure that learning will continue. I urge you, those of you listening, to keep participating, keep learning. Remember, the institution has your back. We are here to ensure your success. The future is a little bit different as we, as we look forward, but we are doing everything especially the year twos who are the graduating class, which would have normally finished by August of this year. Of course, things may have to be a little bit extended because part of our schooling has a lot of practical in it. And so we have to find a way that we will manage once we are allowed and the health authorities and the Ministry of Education does allow us to come back to some form, and as I say, of normal C. So, Continue to obey, continue to recognize, continue to keep yourself safe, and continue to urge those of you, the others who you know are not online as yet, pending any challenges of uh, Wi-Fi access, etc., to keep participating in our classes. We are here for you, uh, Student Services is here for you, and we look forward to continuing to serve you and for you to become that person that you always dreamed of becoming. For faculty, I want to thank faculty in particular because whilst online learning was always something we had in our strategic plan, we were forced to come into contact immediately with it. And I have to commend all the subject matter experts, all the instructing staff, faculty for bringing online in a matter of two weeks, actually, um, revisions to pass modules. And now, because we are aware that we may not actually start back maybe until September, we are moving forward in looking at classes and lectures going, you know, advanced classes. So, so again, congratulations to, to subject matter experts, curriculum, for moving forward and developing modules, not of the past, um, whilst there was practice and we are going to online examinations and, and our institution in Red Day, uh, Alberta, Canada, is also helping us to move towards 
some form of online examinations. So to the faculty, uh, staff, great job guys, keep it up. We're really proud and we're happy that we are moving in a more IT technology driven online stay at home situation. Uh, for staff, you know, while we, while we are closed, we are not out of business. So again, thank you for all those who continue to work at home to keep the institution afloat. It's, it's easy to say that the, we have no campus activities, but it would be impossible to say that there's no work going on. So for all of you who continue to work at home, for those of you who I know are out here at the institution for a couple hours, various days, because there's some stuff we just can't do at home, you know, thank you very much for your service and loyalty to the institution. We have to remember, folks, that we are a going concern and we will be successful and we will continue after this period. Things will change, delivery will be different, we will have to practice a new normal as the rest of the world, but NESE is strong and we're here to stay and we are changing and adapting. And I think that is one of the key features or characteristics of this institution. We are extremely flexible and we, we have a great bunch of, 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 of folks who are always thinking who are always committed, who are dedicated, who continue to want to see this institution succeed. And I think we will come out of it. Finally, I, I don't want to take too long, but I want to urge everybody listening to this video, please adhere to the ministry's guidelines. You know, there's a very, very fine balance. I mean, isolation is certainly a cure to not contracting the disease. But there's a fine line between isolation and business continuing. And I guess all the strategic thinkers and the leaders, and you see, if you look at international news, that's what is the biggest challenge to everybody. But we have to stay healthy to continue business. So please stick, listen to the local authorities. They are the experts. Keep safe, keep, keep your family safe, keep doing what you have to do because we want you around. So please listen, observe, shelter in place as best as you could. Don't be irresponsible and reckless because your deeds will translate to community deeds, will translate to country deeds, and we don't want that. We want to keep this thing as best as we could under control. So please keep safe. And as long as I can do some videos, I'm not very good at doing videos, you know, I want you to be there. Listen to us, we will keep you in touch. Keep online, students, faculty, keep doing what you're doing. Staff, be real and, and keep this institution afloat. God bless us all and keep safe. Thank you very much.